but 32% reported being on their phones 9 to 11 hours Ooh. a day. That's how much some people sleep if they're that lucky. Mm -hmm. uh, and 83% of them actually reported symptoms of digital eye strain. Now, this is not a disease. It's a condi it's symptoms, symptoms that include strain or burning of the eyes, mainly because you start to get dry eyes since you're not blinking as much when mm -hmm. you're looking at a device. Typically, we blink about 15 times a minute. When you're at a, looking at a device, you're blinking about five to seven times a minute. Mm -hmm. In addition, people report headaches, and that's because they're engaging a lot of their ocular muscles, but also they tend to clench when they're looking at their devices. So I know I was seeing a lot of patients coming in for neuromodulator injections of their masseters and their temple because they feel a lot of tension in their head. And people also get uh, even double vision sometimes from being on their devices for that long. So how do you know, okay, I'm having a headache or I'm having some sort of symptom. How do you know that is related to your eyes? And like, mm -hmm. what can you do about it? Great question. So the, the concern is that over time, now what we're seeing is that there's diseases that can be stemming from this. Myopia being one of them, that's nearsightedness, specifically in children, because they tend to be more sensitive from the blue light that's coming from the screens more than adults as well as what's more scary for us adults, which is macular degeneration. And that's when the nerve layer in the very back of our eyeball starts to degenerate. That's called the retina. And so over time, you start to lose your vision. And we're seeing that ophthalmologists are starting to see that in earlier ages than what we used to see. So ways to minimize this is the 20-20-20 rule. That is, if you've been on your device for 20 minutes, try to take a 20 second pause and look up and look at something that's at least 20 feet away. Start to use eye drops when you start to notice that your eyes are burning or even are red. I noticed that my eyes started to look a little red over time. And so make sure to use some eye drops if you are on your screen time. I know mine's like at about five hours right now, which is nothing to be proud of. <laughs> um, and then also there are certain types of screens that you can put on your computer. Try to utilize them, especially if you're in a healthcare setting and you're constantly charting uh, and try to use and put your screen down a little bit lower than eye level so that you're looking down and gazing down when you're on the screen so that screen that blue light is not penetrating right through the lens or the pupil of your eye really getting back to the back of the eyeball and then another thing to do is some blue light glasses. There are glasses that are out there. Now remember that the sun is your greatest source of blue light, but none of us are sitting there out there looking directly into the sun. We're now with these devices that once used to be our TVs or our computers, our grandmothers used to say, don't sit so close <laughs> to the TV. And they may have known something that we didn't, which is that these devices are now closer to our face and our eyes than ever. So just try to keep them at least, you know, a whole arm's length apart from your eyes if you possibly can. So in this age of uh, screens and everything uh, that's digital like this, we really are probably going to see a lot more people with uh, eye problems or eyesight issues. Yes, and because July is Healthy Vision Month, I thought it would be an appropriate thing to consider, especially now that we've definitely seen an increase and our children are at a much greater risk for these eye conditions. Uh, than, than we are as adults. So really not just a pandemic problem here, but really an ongoing problem given how many devices we all have and use. Exactly. All right, Dr. Puppy, thank you so much. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me, Good guys. Love having always. you here.